It's his heart. Because now do the Raiders make the playoffs? If I'm if I'm projecting Madrid to blow out Hamburg, that means I'm thinking they're going to score more points. So that means the Raiders might be out. In my scenario, I like your heart. Hey. We doing everything they talk about. You know I'm everything a boss about. Not putting work and gotta toss them out. I'm really biting, they just barking out. I'm really riding, they just parking now. His street, what to talk about. See the big H when I'm walking out. Yeah. Man, we just got a, we just got a game. We just got a game. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't maybe the game that we thought could be lived up to. Weather might have played a factor into it, but we just got a game. And as I thought could happen, predicted would happen. Unfortunately, happened the Raiders missed the playoffs. So, welcome to Athlete Swarm Podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. Shout out to the locker room. Drop a comment, like a video, share with a friend, and let's uh, let's 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 talk because this is the platform to talk. This is the platform to talk. And right now, we're giving you the 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 live, quick, instant reaction to the T Row Raiders versus the Munich Ravens Week 14, which is a must win for especially for the Ravers for the uh, for the Raiders. Ravens were basically in regardless uh, because of, you know, point differential, but, you know, we'll dive into all that. But, man, this this was a missed opportunity for the Raiders. And there's a lot of factors you could dive into it. First thing, let me get this out the way. For all those that are saying, obviously, with the point differential playing a big factor into it and the Ravens, and, and, and the Ravens let me say this. Yes, versus Barcelona in six quarters, Ravens beat them 144 to zero. All right, we get it. Is it nuts? Yes. However, at the same time, Raiders played Barcelona twice. Madrid played Barcelona twice. All right. You had the opportunity. You had the opportunity. So as much as you want to say it's unfair or whatever, those teams had opportunities as well, too. One team just took advantage of it. So let me get that out the way. But, man, this was an interesting one because – I expect it to be, you know, a fight, but one team just one team beat another team at its own game. That's basically what happened. The Munich Ravens beat the Raiders at their own game. I mentioned it uh, before on uh, last week that Raiders didn't have a book on the Cozy Perry. Uh, Raiders were probably the, the most dangerous team heading down the stretch. Their power run game was great in a in an environment where it was rain and you know that would favor the Raiders. They just they couldn't get things going, and now they're out the playoffs, unfortunately. And now they miss the playoffs, especially the type of season that they have that they've had uh, for the second straight year uh, in the European League of football. Let me talk about the Raiders first. I think this was a first of all, give them credit. Everything that happened last year, leading up to this year, changing quarterbacks. There were a lot of there were a lot of people coming at the Raiders, but I'm. I'm proud for what the Raiders accomplished this year. They, I think they took a step forward. I think, you know, the Raiders did a good job at bouncing back from what they were when they first came into the league. In this game, they just got bullied. It's as easy as that. They just got bullied in this game. You know, the interior push for the Munich Ravens was dominating in the run game. Chad Jeffries played well, made plays with his feet. Um, it was a hard game, you know, throw the ball. I think at the end of the third quarter, Ravens had – 200 and something rushing yards to the Raiders. I think it was like 30 something rushing yards. Munich beat the Raiders at their own game. Um, a lot of drops by the Raiders, a lot of fumbles. Uh, I know Sweden couldn't get his his feet. Um, you know, things just were not clicking. Things were not clicking. And it's unfortunate because, as I mentioned, in a game that would favor a team with a power run game, the, the Raiders, you would think they would put up more than three points. Unfortunately, they didn't. But that's not to say that the Raiders didn't have a disappointing season. They actually had a great season from what they did last year. So you shouldn't look down on the Raiders. If anything, you should be more interested in what they can improve on heading into next year. On the other side, we have the Ravens. We have the Ravens on the other side. And get it. We all knew after they played the Raiders, they had the easiest schedule. We knew that. They were waiting for this game. Everything that they had coming up to this game, they were they were. This this was the game that they needed. And granted, they were already in the playoffs. We knew that. But they wanted to not only win, but make a statement. And that's what they did. That's what they did. This was the Ravens team we expected versus the surge. Not the first game, not second, both games. All right. This is the Ravens team we expected 
you know, to go against the surge. And maybe they're peaking at their right at the right time. You know, the Raiders beat the surge. Who knows if we got a Ravens surge matchup, how that would fare out now. All right. I still think it could be a bad matchup, but who knows if we even see that matchup. But the Ravens, I thought they were dominant. I thought they wanted it more. I thought they played well. They played physical. Uh, the, you could you could tell they were playing with a chip on their shoulder. Uh, Chad Jeffries, you know, did a great job at leading this team. The offensive line did a great job. I know they were getting some flack earlier in the year. Uh, Joe Thomas, you know, all this stuff. The Ravens did a very good job at controlling the game, making it their game, capitalizing on uh, turnovers, capitalizing on the Raiders' missed opportunities. And the Ravens took care of business on their homecoming. And they got the win. And they got the win. So shout out to them. Shout out to Coach Kentrell Ellison, that whole staff, uh, Kyle Callahan, office coordinator, Sean Shelton, guys that I personally know and have talked to in the past. Um, but the Ravens are in the playoffs, and this is exciting. This is this is good for the league, and we'll dive into that because we're going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, playoffs uh, coming down the road here too, or actually Wild Card Weekend. We'll, we'll dive into that here shortly. But I think – Raiders missed opportunity, Ravens capitalized on this opportunity, and Ravens dominated the performance. So what does that mean? Obviously, Ravens clinch. They got the five seed. They're going to Paris. Should be a great matchup. But you know who else clinches? A team that we thought might have been out. The Madrid Bravos. The freaking Madrid Bravos are in the playoffs. Kudos to them. They fought. They took care of their business. And they're back to where, you know, they wanted. They just wanted the chance at the dance. And they're going to get, get another shot. They're going to get another shot. All right. So fresh off the game, Ravens beat the Raiders. It was a great game. Chad Jeffries is one who could ball with the best of them. I think another thing that when you think about the Ravens offensively is they did a good job of staying in control, staying in rhythm, and, again, capitalizing. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Was this the game you expected? Did you think the Raiders would drop the ball? Did you think the Ravens would dominate as much as they did? How do the Ravens fare heading into the playoffs? Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys let me know what you guys think. <laughs>